original 1966 Ford Mustang. Uh, these were cool radios. Uh, had the big square chrome push buttons on them. Uh, we've done a complete cleanup on this one and a full Aurora design conversion. Polished all the knobs out. Brand new set of uh, control knobs. And uh, right now it has AM FM stereo auxiliary in. Four channels out. 45 watts a channel. It does have five pre-outs in case you want to add an amp to your speakers or even a sub. It has a uh, built-in Bluetooth mic right here. It has USB, Bluetooth, voice command and voice assistance. It is uh, push-button operated. This is your harness you'll be getting for your USB which will also charge your phone, your devices and play a thumb drive. And right underneath there is your auxiliary end jack. You can mount it in this mount or take it out of the mount. Uh, we're going to run the radio in. Right now you're on FM. You got to operate an LED right here along with a stereo amber, which is what the Fords usually had. 26 and first pieces of art in public spaces has mainly. It's of your mind. Other. All push buttons, presets work like they always did originally. Uh, push down here. If you want to go to AM radio, just turn it off and right back on. LED changes uh, colors. There's some 650 in Nashville. Back off and right back on takes you right back to FM. And our prayer. Very clean sound, very powerful. Our auxiliary in, you've always had, we'll do auxiliary in, you always had treble and bass. I'm going to go to auxiliary in and show you how the balance and fader works. Turn our little uh, iPod on. You'll get a mail to mail cord like this one here. And uh, your radio is automatic. It's sitting there listening for a device to come in satellite radio, uh, CD player, whatever you want to plug into it. Just plug it in right here. And uh, all you got to do is turn it on and go straight to it. Well, if I can keep the thing running. There we go. I feel good. I do that I would not. Now we got that on. We're going to demonstrate how the balance and the fader work. It's all built in your treble and bass. Your toner control, there's a center notch on it right there. We're going to crank it clockwise twice. One, two, like a 12 to 2 motion. One, two. It's going to beep. When it quits beeping, we're going to be in the fader mode. As long as you're moving this toner control, you can fade from front to rear if you have three or more speakers hooked in. Uh, after that, when you get done what you want to do, just stop. It'll beep once and go back to toner, treble and bass. Go counterclockwise twice, like a 12 to 10 motion. It'll do the same thing, beep, and you'll be in the balance mode. There's your fronts, rears. I feel nice. When you get done, just let go, stop. Now we're back on treble and bass. Now we're going to go counterclockwise. One, two. Make it right. Balance it out, let it beep. Back on treble and bass. 
That's how your balance and fader all work in original AM radio with four channels. Anytime you get ready to come off any device you have plugged into it, into the auxiliary end, which is green, just turn it off. And in 20 seconds, the radio will cycle right back around to where you had it, which we had it on FM. Uh, during this 20 seconds, if you don't want to wait that long, just actually uh, turn the radio off and right back on. You deserve a reward. I don't. Because if I done it now, we'll go straight to AM radio. Rewards with the Start Smart City. Words. I tell you, Ryan Gosling really learned his. Got the original backlight in it. So at night it'll shine like it's supposed to. Oh, we're gonna run our phone in. Been having trouble with my phone. Let's see how it does. We're gonna use the push button voice assistance. And uh, the first initial pair up, all you do is take your button and hold it all the way down. Ready to pair. All right, we're gonna go to Bluetooth. Showed up on our phone. We just tap on it. She will tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Device connected. Now we're paired up. Uh, every time you get in your car, once you do the initial pair up, you shouldn't have to do it anymore. Turn your radio on. She'll come on and say device paired. Uh, you don't have to use voice command, but we want to check out the mic. You got a little mic right here. And make sure everything's plugged in right. You'll also get an additional mic in case your car is a little bit loud or something. Somebody has trouble hearing you. You'll get a mic on a cable that you can actually get closer to you. And all you do is to power down the radio, turn off the electric, the uh, juice to it, plug in the new mic, turn it back on. This mic will go offline. The new one will come online. You can get it. Mine's on my sun visor in my truck. You can get it closer to you. Anyhow, we're gonna do a voice command. Since we have the push button and check our mic out. Hold it down just like you were pairing up. Play music. Playing old songs. Shuffled. We know the mic is working. To advance your songs, just push it once. To back up or repeat twice. Twice, back it up. Now, like I said, you don't have to use voice command. We want to check it out. You can just punch that off. Turn your music off, the radio will go right back to FM. We're going to use voice command. Uh, you, can, you can make phone calls, texts, whatever your smartphone is capable of doing. You can do it right here. We're going to uh, put it back in pause and go back to radio. Stop music. Okay, now we're going back to radio. That's how your Bluetooth works. Now we're going to do the USB. You can charge your devices here or put a USB in with a MP3, MP4 music on it. Uh, you'll get one of these with some music on it for you. And when you first plug it in, it's going to go straight to it. Advance the same way. up and repeat just like your phone twice
Now the good thing about this, a lot of people like to hide this in their glove box or somewhere where people can't see it. You don't have to take this out unless you want to charge something, so you can leave that in there. You want to go to pause and go back to radio, just hold it down for one second, your push button. Put this in pause, that little light's going to blink a couple times along with this one. And now we're going back to radio where we had it, which is FM. Break down, stop. Going down the road and you want to listen to your favorite music, same thing, one second. Right back to it. You'll get full instructions with it, so you want to read them. It's do, it will do a whole lot more than what I'm showing. Let's go back to radio. One second. Going back to radio. This is your original 1966 Ford Mustang radio. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you very much.